We are in Cape Town for the Cape Peninsula Marathon. The reason we are here is to attempt to run a fast race to qualify for comrades in a few months. This is the start of the Cape Peninsula Marathon at Giovanni. We can get some pizza and pasta. Are you going to qualify today? I don't know. That's what I have to run today. A 6.30. Or 6.50 if it goes badly. The Peninsula Marathon is run from Giovanni's near Cape Town Stadium, through the city, past the coastal towns of Musenberg and Fischhoek, and finishing at Simon's Town at the Peninsula in the south. I'm assuming you'll put this on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a start, we've got 42Ks to go. How you doing, Michael? How are you doing? Alright, right. I'm out of breath already. Yeah, you yeah. should run slower then. I know, I'm trying to. So we're now 4Ks in, it's all been in the dark. So thank goodness there hasn't been any load shedding there. We can see where we're going. So far, still feeling good. We chose this one as our qualifier because according to the race organizers, this is the fastest marathon in Africa. And with that exclamation point, it has to be true. Okay, first bit. Oh, okay. Daylight is oh, no, I will not soft. Be That's it. Back here then. It's a while under 6.30. And I need for 4.35 so here's what I can do it so far a little early just need to keep up that pace oh isn't that great we'll have to stop for the bus trying to get into the road wasting time just wasting our time I'm beating the truck Hello. We started off through the city well under the needed pace and prematurely thought we had the qualifier in the bag. Should be on the cart if I don't die. Now for the fun part of the race. Yes, Adventist Jesus is coming! So we're on about 25 k's now, and it's becoming quite tough. Oh, the sun's come out and the wind has dropped. So it's like just walking in a steam bath. We should still qualify if we don't hit the wall. Okay, 
Well, it's finished now. 4.50. And uh, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, have a good thank, you. thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. We've got this view all the way to Simon's Town. So, I'm complaining really. Well, all we did from now until the end was complain. been about I've sat here for about five minutes trying to get my breath back and I'm so fucked. I think it's about five to go and it's four hours twenty I just hope that Charlene's doing better than this Oh. I'm really struggling. 35 in uh, 636 pace. So now we really need to pitch for uh, 450. Uh, it's really been hot. And uh, I think I underestimated. On a bit. I think Daniel took a walk. And then we got my bike. I'm gonna die. Fuck it. It's all under. Yeah. That's the pool. I think where Daniel is. I haven't seen him for quite some time. So. I just hope he finishes. So I'm running again. I have about four to go. And I lost my hat back there. I was just so tired, I'm not going back to fetch it. It's because of this man that I'm not <laughs> stopped happening and then I just stopped working <laughs> and that was the end of the story and then I stopped on the side of the road a few times and I sat down every time and then I couldn't get to the water point and then I managed to get to the water point and then I went and I stopped oh, and I lost my hat oh no yeah, I don't know what happened to it shit man yeah, and then I went and I sat down and then I didn't it was like many minutes later and then there's another guy there with me 
And then he was also stuffed and he had his shoes off. And then we said, okay, let's go. And then he said, well, just wait. I'm going to put my shoes on. So he put his shoes on and then we walked the rest of the way together. <laughs> <laughs>